Hey friends, it's Robert. So today I wanna to share with you one of my favorite old school crafts. We're gonna be making crepe paper carnations. And if you like this project and you wanna see more, I invite you to subscribe to my own channel by following the link in the video description below. Crepe paper flowers have been around for a long time. In fact, I've adapted this project from a vintage book in my library that dates from the late 1940s. Now live carnations have beautiful ruffled petals and long blade-like leaves, and the carnations we're going to be creating out of crepe paper today are surprisingly lifelike, so let's get started. Today we're going to be using my favorite double-sided German crepe paper. It's a slightly different shade on either side and adds some great dimension when you're making flowers. We're going to begin by cutting a strip that's 3 inches high by 30 inches long. The way I normally do this is take the fold of crepe paper, measure three inches from one end, and draw a light guideline in pencil. Then we're gonna cut along that line using a pair of pinking shears to create the zigzag upper edge of the petals. Now unfold that strip, measure and cut 30 inches. Now with the flat palms of your hands, stretch that strip of paper out on your work surface to 34 inches. Now fold the strip in half several times and we're going to draw a second guideline, this time an inch up from the bottom. Taking a sharp pair of scissors, we're going to cut from the zigzag edge down to that guideline every inch to inch and a half. When you unfold your strip, you'll see you've created all of your individual petals. Now to replicate the ruffled petals of a live carnation, we're going to accordion fold each of the paper petals. Fold the paper back and forth every eighth of an inch and then press it tight to create those creases. Do this all the way down the strip. And then we're ready to add our petals onto a stem. And the way we're going to do this is by taking a heavy gauge floral wire stem and bending it in half. Gather together the first three or four petals and then slip the wire up over the top between the next two petals. And then we're gonna begin pinching and gathering the paper around the stem in an irregular fashion. Once all of the paper is gathered together, we're going to take a second floral wire stem, this time a very light gauge one, wrap it around the base about a half inch from the bottom, and twist it tightly on one side. Then wrap those wires around to the other side and twist it again several more times. We can allow the tail ends to hang down and we'll incorporate them into the main stem. Now we're going to take some green crepe paper and create a strip to cover the base of the flower. We want this to be about an inch and a half tall. Again, cut the top of it with the pinking shears to create that zigzag edge. You want it to be long enough to wrap just around the base of the flower. Using a toothpick, apply some white tacky glue along the wire at the base of the flower. Then take your strip of paper and position the zigzag edge about an eighth of an inch above the wire. With a little bit of tension, wrap it all the way around. Apply some glue on the end and press it into place. Now you'll notice that this strip extends down beyond the base of the flower. We're going to pinch that excess paper together and gather it in towards the stem. Now using that same green crepe paper, we're going to cut out some strips that are a half inch tall. Apply some glue at the end of one of those strips and position it over that paper that we just gathered together. With a little bit of tension, wrap it around a couple of times to secure it in place. And then we're going to slightly change the angle of our strip, wrapping it downwards around the stem. You can twist the wire with one hand and wrap with the other. When you get to the end of the strip, apply a little bit of glue to secure it in place. And if you need to cover more of the stem, apply a second strip, wrap down to the base, and secure it with glue. Now we want to add some leaves to our flowers. And the way we're going to do that is cutting two tall vertical strips about a half inch wide, Fold them in half and cut the ends into a point. Then cut them at the fold to create two leaves each. Now on a live carnation, the leaves grow opposite one another on the stem. To replicate that, place glue at the base of one of the leaves, wrap it around the stem, and pinch it in place. Then take your second leaf, apply glue at the base, position it directly opposite the first one, wrap it around, and pinch it in place. Allow the glue to dry for just a minute. And then to create the signature curled look of the leaves, we're going to take a pair of scissors and gently run the blades along the underside of the leaf to curl it. And then we just need to fluff up our petals, and the way we'll do that is gently separating them one at a time, 
pulling them away from the center, making the bloom as full as you'd like. I do love how lifelike these flowers look, and I think they would be amazing created as a bouquet, to decorate your home, or for an event, or even to give as a gift. Thank you so much for watching, and please join me next time for another great DIY project.